Dear students, welcome to MVM online lecture series. Greetings from MVM College of Physiotherapy, Bangalore, India. Today we will be seeing about anatomy of angle joint. By the end of this lecture, you may be able to understand what is angle joint, what are the components of angle joint, and ligaments, muscles, arteries, and nerves around the ankle joint. Now, let's see what is ankle joint. The ankle joint is a hinge signable joint that's formed by articulation of talus. Please look at the talus, tibia, and fibula bones. So, it is a hinge signable joint and also it is formed by articulation of three bones, talus, tibia, and fibula bones. Together, there are three bodies forms the ankle mortise. So look at the uh, line and the ankle mortise, the daughter line over there. There are three bodies. The first border is the articular facet of the lateral malleolus. Please look at the lateral malleolus, that's the bony prominence on the lower fibula, forms the lateral border of the angle joint. The first one, facet of the articular facet of the lateral malleolus forms the lateral border of the ankle joint. The second one, it is the articular facet of the medial malleolus. Look at the medial malleolus. That's the bony prominence on the lower part of the tibia forms the medial border of the joint. So the articular facet of the medial malleolus forms the medial border of the joint. And the third one, the third and last one, the superior portion of the angle joint forms the inferior articulate surface of the tibia. Please look at the lower part of the tibia. So that is the inferior articulate surface of the tibia and the superior margin of the talus. So there are three borders, one is formed by the, the facet of lateral malleolus and second the facet of the lateral uh, medial malleolus and the third one is superior portion of the angle joint forms the inferior articulate surface of the tibia and superior margin of the talus. When you look at down, the talus articulates inferiorly with the calcaneus and anterior with, anteriorly with the navicular bone. So that's about the ankle joint and uh, bones. So now we see about a detail about the bones, joints, ligaments, ligaments, tendons, muscles, nerves and blood vessels of the ankle joint. So look at the ankle. Now we go deep into the ankle joint. So look at the ankle joint over here. Now we'll see the each bone separately. So here you can see the talus. The talus bone joins with the tibia next. You can see the talus joins with the tibia. So that is the talo tibial joint. Next, you can see the fibula joints with the talus. So now you can see the talus, tibia and fibula. These three bones together forms the ankle joint. There are four articulating surfaces. That's the here you can see the trachea of the talus. The malleolar motifs formed by the tibia and the fibula. Look at the tibia and the fibula malleolar lateral and medial malleolus. So that's the, the articulating surfaces what we see. So now we move to the the sides. Look at the calcaneum, the calcaneous bone down and the posterior side and the talus how it joins with the calcaneum you can see. There are uh, two movements are possible here. That's the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion. Because it is a hinge joint, 
because it's a hinge joint, movements are permitted in only one plane. So there is only two movements are possible, that is the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion. So here we can see the dorsiflexion and then the plantar flexion. This is the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion. So, so what is dorsiflexion? The dorsiflexion is the action of raising the foot upwards. So this is the dorsiflexion. Dorsiflexion flexion is the action of raising the foot up, upwards towards the shin. It means flexion of the foot in the dorsal or upward direction. So dorsiflexion uses the muscles in the front part of the uh, anterior part of the foot. The tendons of the muscle that passes through the front of the foot and into the ankle joint include the tibialis anterior, the extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus. So these are the muscles in the anterior part. So next we see about what is a plantar flexion. The plantar flexion is a just opposite of the dorsiflexion. It involves moving the foot in downward direction towards the ground. The muscles whose tendons cause the plantar flexion are located in the back side of the uh, leg. That pass into the back of the foot via the ankle joint. This includes tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, gastronomius and soleus muscles. So now next we see in the anterior side. So here we can see the ankle joint. There is a shape like a mortise and tenon. So now here we can see ankle mortise. So what is a mortise? Look at your small picture at the side of your wooden furniture. There is a mortise gap and then the tenon comes and fit into that. So what is mortise? Generally it is a rectangular hole in a piece of wood or stone etc into which another piece is fixed. So it is a rectangular hole. So that's called as the ankle mortise so that they form a joint. So here we can see the mortise at ankle joint formed by tibia and fibula. The bony arch formed by tibia and the two malleoli is referred to the ankle mortise or you, call, or you can say it's a taller mortise. The mortise is a rectangular socket. So you can see the corresponding picture, the furniture picture. So you can easily understand what is mortise and what is tenon. Next we see about what is tenon. The end piece of the wood that is shaped to fit into mortise and another piece of wood to form a joint. So here we can see the tenon goes into the mortise and joints. So that's what we call it is tenon. So do you understand what is a mortise and tenon? So mortise and tenon, it is a very simple concept. And the uh, here we can see in the tibia and the fibula forms the mortise and the, and the simple, it's like a socket. That's what we see the mortise and tenon. Next, we move to the, the other side, the lateral and the medial sides. And look at the, the cartilage. So here you can see the cartilage. The most common bone in the ankle to have a cartilage injury is the talus. So here we can see the, the cartilages of the talus. The cartilage of the talus is like any other articular cartilage and it is arranged similarly to that in the other weight bearing joints. So the, the damage to the articular cartilage or so very serious injuries it is it involves with the person's walking so look at the cartilage here so here you can see the talus and the talus cartilage there are several ligaments and tendons muscles around the ankle joints what is a ligament ligament is a short band of tough flexible fibrous connective tissue which connects two bones or cartilages or holds together your joint. So here you can see uh, several ligaments. So it is a short band of uh, tough flexible connective tissue. Okay, it is not a muscle, it is a, it is a connective tissue which connects to two bones. It can connect two bones or even your cartilages 
or it can hold the joints together that's called as the ligament so what is a tendon the tendon is a fibrous connective tissue again it is a fibrous connective tissue which attaches muscle to the bone here you are seeing a muscle in the back side of the ankle and the leg and it attached to the calcaneum down so when it in the lower part you can see the tendon so tendon is a fibrous connective tissue which attaches muscle to the bone a tendon so to the so to move the bone or structure ligaments and the tendons are both made up of fibrous connective tissue but that's about the where the similarity ends ligaments appears as a crisscross bands that attach bone to bone and help to stabilize joints so now we see what are the ligaments and the muscles so we have uh, several ligaments in the uh, ankle in the anterior side and the lateral side mostly we divide into the uh, lateral parts you can see the clearly the anterior tibiofibular tibio ligament and then you can see the calcaneofibular ligaments look at the anterior lateral side so this is the anterior side move to the lateral part and here you can see the anterior talofibular ligament and calcaneofibular ligament you can see so the laterally the ankle has stabilization from the three separate ligaments this ligaments give stability to the lateral side of the ankle the anterior and posterior talofibular ligaments i'll be showing the posterior talofibular ligaments and the calcaneofibular ligaments so laterally ankle has a stabilization from three separate ligaments one is the anterior talofibular ligament second one is the posterior talofibular ligament the third one is the calcaneofibular ligament the anterior talofibular ligament connects the talus to the fibula the weakest of three lateral ligaments that's the most frequently injured ligament which is the most frequently injured ligament anterior talofibular ligament next the calcaneofibular ligament connects fibula to the calcaneum inferiorly look at the fibula and the calcaneum it is connected by the calcaneofibular ligament the lateral ligament stabilizes the ankle and it serves as a guide to direct ankle movement by attaching lateral malleolus to the bones below the ankle joint look at the lateral malleolus it attached to the talus and calcaneum they are responsible for the resistance against the inversion and internal rotation of the stress so these are the strong ligaments next you can here in the lateral lateral posterior side you can see the posterior posterior talofibular ligament so there are three ligaments on the lateral side we have seen the first one anterior talofibular ligament calcaneofibular ligament and you can see the posteriorly here you can see the posterior talo fibular ligament talus connected with the fibular ligament so that's the the posterior talofibular ligaments we have seen so next so the posterior talofibular connect to the talus and fibula we have seen next we move to the the medial side so here what are the ligaments we see this is called as the deltoid ligament so this is called as a deltoid ligament medially the deltoid ligament consists of one two three four half yeah, consists of four ligaments that form a triangle connecting tibia to the navicular calcaneus and to the talus so there is a four ligaments that forms a triangle connecting tibia to the navicular calcaneus and talus it stabilizes the ankle joint during the eversion of the foot and prevents subluxation of the ankle joint so this is a very important ligament on the medial side look at your the foot and the medial side and there is a medial malleolus and it is connected downward to the the four the tendons that's the sorry ligaments four ligaments that's the deltoid ligaments gives the stability to the ankle joint during eversion eversion of the foot please do the eversion yeah that's that's the eversion and it prevents 
subluxation of the ankle joint also it stabilizes the movement uh, during aversion of the foot and also prevents subluxation of the ankle joint next we move to the anterior side and there we see the syntesmosis so what is an ankle syntesmosis the syntesmosis is a name of the ligaments that connects two bones of the leg so the the syntesmosis is the distal articulation between tibia and fibula comprised of the bony facets and the ligament attachments both these components function to stabilize the tibio fibular joint and constrain the fibula to the tibia during a physiological ankle movement so here we can see the syntesmosis formed by the many ligaments the anterior inferior tibial uh, tibiofibular ligament and move to the posterior side you can see the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament also we see the transverse ligament and again you see the intraosseous ligament so these all forms the ankle syntesmosis next these are all the references uh, here you see so this will help you to read further so if you want more information about the ankle anatomy you can look at your books or you can go to the uh, all the references what i have given or you can get the links directly from me once you call me so with this dear students with this we are concluding the lecture on ankle anatomy part one kindly see the part two ankle anatomy to complete the ankle anatomy thank you very much take care